I'm so glad to be here. I'm at the Westside Community Center and I'm going to be teaching a watercolor painting. I hope you enjoy it and um, I also teach at the food bank and I'm so excited to be here. So just follow along. So what we're going to do is we're going to watercolor this apple and I have watercolor paper but you don't need watercolor paper. You could use any paper you have at home and maybe later you could get that. So I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and let you know what you could buy that will help you. This is carbon paper, and then this is watercolor paper. You could buy it at Hobby Lobby. Now this here, you buy at Office Depot. And what this is, is you put that carbon paper down and you just trace the painting that you want and it goes right onto this page here. But today we're not gonna do that, but it's good to know. Today we're just gonna go ahead and draw it. All right, so what you're gonna need, let me show you what you're gonna need first. So you need a pencil and your signing pen, and you need your brushes, probably three. Uh, there's different, or four, different sizes, kind of a bigger one, a small and a medium one. And you could, any size would be fine. If you just have one brush that you'd like, that's fine too. Then I have the watercolor pellets here. And you, you can even buy these watercolor pellets. So, And if you don't have watercolor painting, that's okay. You could use crayons and other things. I'm gonna show you how to blend colors. So that will help and you could use it with crayons or even markers, so that's cool. All right, are you ready? All right, so we're just gonna get down over here and we're gonna one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna touch that toilet paper just barely. And then we're gonna go into our color, which let's do red today. So we'll do the red, nah, I don't really like that red. One, two, three, and here. I like this red a lot. And not too much, just a little. And since it's hanging, we don't wanna waterlog it because it's gonna drip. So then we just come over here. Oh, we need to draw it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, so let's draw it. So here we see the um, apple. So we'll just go ahead and draw it really quickly. It's not too hard. Pretty quick, right? Fun. You just draw it. Don't be afraid. Get any picture you want up on the internet if you want. If you want to do a different picture and just draw it like that. Done. Oh, I forgot this little guy. Here's our little ladybug. All fun. And there's, there you go. Easy, right? Wow, that was fun. And if you notice this little leaf part here, let me draw it in because that's super important. There we go. I think we got it. Perfect, all right. So now we're gonna go into the red. One, two, three, four, five, touch your toilet paper. You wanna do that so you don't waterlog it. And then you just go into the red and you just do this. And it's all dark mainly. There is some light areas and I'll show you. So we're just gonna go where it's dark. Let's go a little darker. One, two, one, two, there we go. A little darker, so here we are. Now where it's light, we're gonna go ahead and borrow. This is how you borrow. One, two, three, four, five. You touch your toilet paper and you borrow it up. See it move? Look at how it lightens up. It lightens up, doesn't it? So now you have your dark and your light. Now it looks a lot better. And it might drip because it's, it's okay. So let's wash it. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what other colors we got. Okay. Now I'll touch my toilet paper, I'm gonna go into the yellow. And we're just gonna do this, real simple. And we're just gonna take it all the way around like this. Stay away from the red, let it dry a few minutes. And I don't wanna let it dry because we'll be here all day. <laughs> so there we go, and easy, right? And so, see these little uh, brown spots here? They're here and they're here. And now we're gonna do that. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go into a light brown, not too much water. And then we're just gonna put it where we see it. We see it here, we see it here. Pretty simple there. There you go. It's really way easier than it looks, right? All right, now we're gonna get a smaller brush because I'm gonna work with the leaf. The leaf is two colors, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the green and it's two colors and so this is the dark, the, and I don't want it too watery because it'll drip. Now, if it was laying on a table, that would be okay. And so there we go. And there's your leaf, right? It looks like it's lighter here and darker on the top. So 
So we'll try to make it a little darker up there. But again, we don't want it to drip. So there we go. All right. Okay, now let's see. Um, that's, okay. So now one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go into a darker black, kind of a greenish color. And for the stem, and that's simple. That's it. Easy, right? Now we're gonna go ahead and grab the red again. One, two, three, four, five. Grab some red. I don't want it too wet, so I'm just, usually don't touch it again, but because it's hanging, I don't want it too wet. Look at how beautiful. Oh, so cute. I'm gonna grab the black. One, two, three, four, five, and get into that black. And you could use different, see, if you notice, I'm using just like two different brushes, so you could, you don't need to use. Now we're gonna let that red dry before we put those spots in because if I don't, it's gonna go everywhere. So we'll just go ahead and do it and show you what happens if you do it when it's wet. See how it kind of goes everywhere? Haha. <laughs> so you want it to dry, that's all. And if you notice, there's a little darkness down here too. Good, and then the seats, same black. There you go. And you could even put that, it, this color here is like a yellow. I could have went ahead and borrowed it in. So we'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna go ahead and go into that. Oh, so fun. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna put a little yellow up there. That's so cool. Wow. I think we did it. Let me just go over one little thing. One, two, three, four, five. And see how it's dripping? It wouldn't do that if it was on a table, right? So there we go. Oh, okay. And guess what? The most important thing, sign it. <laughs> All right. So you're gonna sign your name. Artists sign different ways. You can sign any way you want. I sign with an E, that's my initial, and my last name's Olivas. And then I put the month, and I put the year. Then I know when I did it, yay. And guess why I sign there? Because you'll be able to see your signature when you frame it. Look, a canvas, is that awesome? You could get this canvas for 250 at Hobby Lobby with your coupon. Isn't that great? I love it. I love painting with you and I hope to see you soon. I'm gonna have another video with a pastel and we're gonna paint a beautiful orange. I hope you're ready.